Hey everybody, it's Thomas here with Throne Builders and I wanted to share a story with you to encourage those of you that sometimes feel God leading you in a way that's not biblical. I don't know if you've ever heard somebody tell you that what you're doing doesn't line up with the Word of God, but uh, if you actually read the Bible, you find out that just about everything God told somebody to do uh, was a little bit different than what he told somebody to do previously. God works in seasons and he works with people. And yes, there are principles that govern a lot of his actions, but he's not bound by the rules and regulations we're often taught. So I wanted to tell you a story uh, that was actually brought on by the death of a very, very dear friend in the last couple of weeks. My Toshiba died. And uh, I have a story I want to share. I'll put it this way. I've got uh, my daughter put smiley stickers and uh, uh, another sticker that she made with her little sticker machine. But this is my Toshiba. Say hi to the nice people, Toshiba. Hello. Okay. So I'll come back to that in just a minute. About seven years ago, uh, God began to speak to all well, eight years ago, God began to speak to me and tell me that I needed to have a blog online so that I could put content out. Uh, we had just come out of the Fundamental Baptist Church system. We had just stepped away from uh, basically every type of a church thing that you can imagine. As God was leading us into a wilderness, we were moving in that way. And God began to tell me, you need to start writing a blog. You need to get online. We'd never been online people. We had, didn't have Facebook. We didn't have, you know, we had email accounts because you had to have that for certain things, but that's all we had. So as God began to speak to me about writing a blog, I tried to get a, you know, being poverty minded that I was, my, my family and I were so poverty minded, we tried to borrow this or get that old used thing and try to work some things out and it just wasn't working. We got, uh, finally got internet at our house and you know, we were way behind the times, didn't get internet till about seven years ago and uh, finally got internet and none of the, the devices that I was trying to use were working with uh, the internet that we had. And as I was very much troubled by, I was like, God, you told me I needed to write this blog. What am I supposed to do? He said, go buy a laptop. Well, we had exactly $500 to our name at the time. And that $500 was exactly what I needed to pay rent in about two weeks coming up about, I guess about eight or nine days coming up from that. And, uh, and I said, God, I need money to buy that. He said, take the $500 you have and buy a laptop. And I immediately went into, but I can't, that's not my money. That belongs to my landlord. And God strongly urged me over two or three days. He said, you need to buy a laptop. So I, I went and I looked around and I found that Office Depot had a laptop for sale. This, this bad boy right here was on sale for $300. It was an amazing price, very good deal with the uh, two-year coverage. I think it ended up being a $400 laptop. And I didn't get that right off the bat. I got it a, a couple weeks later. But so I, I, I went with a friend of mine uh, to another city and there was an office depot there and he was there for some doctor's appointments. And on the way back, I stopped at this office depot and I went inside and I went over to where the laptops were and I must have stood there for a solid 20 minutes. I had the money, the cash, cash in my pocket, clenched fist. And I just could not believe that I was being led to do this. And I was so in so much turmoil because I didn't understand how God would tell me to spend my rent money just to have a computer so that I could start writing my blog. And the whole time I'm sitting there freaking out, the Toshiba was saying, buy me. And it was a difficult thing for me. I didn't know if I was being deceived. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know how I was going to pay my landlord. After a solid 20 minutes of struggling with this, I finally picked up the box and literally shaking all over because I was so afraid of what I was about to do, I went to the register, I paid for the computer, and I left the store. And within five days, someone came back and the, the total was like $350. And like I said, I added the protection plan later on. But in about five days time, somebody came along and gave me $500. So I took the portion of the 500 that I was supposed to spend for rent and I bought a computer and God gave me back the entire amount so that I actually ended up with more after the fact than I had beforehand. This Toshiba has lasted me for seven years. It's lived in multiple states. It's gone all over the country. It has written 
hundreds and hundreds of articles, dozens and dozens of blogs, uh, thousands of posts on Facebook. It's been responsible for filming. It's been responsible for Facebook Live. It's just been a very trusted and, and wonderful friend. And it had been glitching up for a couple months and I realized that it was probably getting ready to go. And then recently, just with seemingly no warning at all, it just decided that it was done. And I don't know if you've ever had a piece of, uh, te of equipment or something, a pair of shoes or whatever that was a, a good friend to you. But I wanted to uh, write this video in honor of God. When God leads you to do something, don't worry about what people think you're, if you're right or wrong. Don't worry if, if their concept of the way you're going is right or not. Just make sure you're hearing his voice. Make sure you have his peace. Make sure that you're moving in a direction that's going to cause your life to, to align with his purpose and his destiny for you. And when people speak evil of you and look down and say, well, that doesn't line up with the Bible and that's not the voice of God, you can have that calm assurance that what you're doing lines up with his will. And though you may not get a, a five-day turnaround, you will get that turnaround because God is faithful that when you follow his voice, which only leads to success, you will have the prosperity that he promises you will accompany that. And so I'm going to be uh, uh, burying my dear friend here uh, soon, probably just by throwing it in a trash can somewhere. But uh, it's it's been a, a great blessing to have this. God honored me, and now God's given me a much better, faster device. It has a lot more operating strength, and I'm excited about that. So just wanted to encourage you, whatever you feel like God's pushing you to do right now that you're nervous about, step outside of your comfort zone and allow yourself to experience the goodness of God as he moves you into an entirely new situation in life. You will not regret it. God bless you. Thanks for watching Throne Builders. This is Thomas Shirley.